Hi, everyone. This is Jerry Doggett with Ben Stelling and Al Huffer. And here we are at Everett Field in Brooklyn, about to bring you the Dodgers and the New York Giants. Today's game, like all the Dodger games this season, brought to you by the American Tobacco Company on behalf of Lucky Strike, a light smoke, the best tasting cigarette you ever smoked. And the F&M Schaefer Brewing Company of Brooklyn, brewers of Schaefer Beer, America's oldest lager beer. It's real beer. We'll give you the rundown on today's lineup in just a moment. Man, this is the life, isn't it? You stretched out in the easy chair, your radio beaming in the ball game, and a pack of luckies close at hand. How come you Well, that's not hard to figure. Find the battle alone, face right. And lucky strike means find the battle. All find the battle. Naturally light tobacco that's good tasting to begin with, and then it's toasted to taste even better. Reach for a lucky, a light smoke, a best tasting cigarette you ever smoke. For the taste that you like, light up a lucky strike. Light up a light smoke, a lucky strike. Friends, this broadcast is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the Brooklyn National League Baseball Club Incorporated solely for the entertainment of our listening audience. And any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Brooklyn National League Baseball Club Incorporated is prohibited. Well, today is game number two of the series between the Dodgers and the Giants. The Dodgers won last night's game by a score of 10 to nothing as John Drysdale fired a sparkling three hitter, and the Dodgers used home runs by Hodges, Neal, and Perillo to spark their 10 run attack. So it's game number two today, and it'll be Foul Magley going for the Dodgers and Big Red Worthington going for New York. The series finale comes off tomorrow with Ray Crone for New York against Johnny Padres for Brooklyn. Today, Ladies' Day, and also 6,000 not old kids on hand in a bright sunshine. And just a fine day for the ball game. The temperature in the middle 70s there in New York. A few folks lolling around the house in the neighborhood of Ebbets Field want something uh, to really give you a good afternoon's entertainment. We well, might invite you right out here to Ebbets Field and see the ball game between the Giants and the Dodgers. Plenty of good seats available here, so why don't you come on out and take in a ball game. Let's give you a rundown now in the batting orders for the afternoon's game. For New York, it will be Danny O'Connell leading off, playing second base. Don Mueller in right field. Willie Mays in center field. Ray Jablonski at third. Hank Sauer in left. Daryl Spencer at short. And right now, let's have our national anthem. We'll have the rest of the lineup in just a moment. Lachlan at first base, Valmy Thomas at the catcher spot, and Al Worthington to do the pitching. For the Dodgers, Jim Gilliam at second base, Gino Simoli in left field, Newt Schneider in center, Gil Hodges at first, Carl Ferrillo in right field, Charlie Neal at shortstop, Stevie Reese at third, Johnny Roseboro catching, and Sal Magley to do the pitching. The 
both end brigades for both clubs now making their way down the line. So the game here, just moments away from the start. Let's give you a rundown on the ball games played last night. In the National League, the Dodgers beat the Giants 10 to nothing. Milwaukee beat Cincinnati 9 to 5. Philadelphia over Pittsburgh 4 to 3. And yesterday afternoon, they lost beat Chicago 2 to 1. So the National League finds Milwaukee still holding its seven game edge. With the Cardinals in third place, half game behind the Dodgers, seven and a half away. The Dodgers take the field now. In the American League yesterday and last night, Washington beat the Yankees four to two. Boston beat Baltimore eight to one. Kansas City over Chicago three to one, and Cleveland over Detroit six to five. So the Yankees have a six and a half game lead over Chicago in the American League. All the American League games we have played tonight, and we have one night game on the schedule in the National League. That will be the ball game between Milwaukee and Cincinnati. Day game, St. Louis at Chicago and Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. Right now, Sal Magley on the mound, tossing a few down to catcher Johnny Roseboro. Roy Campanella still out with a bad thumb. Sandy Emeralds, who got punched on the right arm last night, he will be out of action for a couple of days. Sandy has a big uh, puffed up spot on his right forearm just below the elbow. Magley, 6-6 six six on the year, 1-2 and two against the Giants this year, and 2-2 two two lifetime. Worthington, 8-9 and nine on the year, is 1-0 and oh against Brooklyn, and 4-1 and one lifetime against the Dodgers. Magley throwing them in with Reese, Neal, Gilliam, and Hodges on the infield, Simoleon left, Snyder in center, and in right field, Carl for it all. Here's Danny O'Connell stepping in now to take his swings with Magley's pitches, and stepping to the microphone for Lucky Strike in the play-by-play, -play. here's Ben Scully. Ben? Thank you, Jerry, and good afternoon, everybody, and a very pleasant day to you, wherever you may be. Danny O'Connell, Don Mueller, and Willie Mays, and Magley goes to work and misses inside, ball one. O'Connell batting 265 with seven home runs, 31 runs batted in. Magley checks his sign, back he comes, and his curve drops too low, ball two. Two and Fine crowd on hand. We have over 6,000 not old youngsters here today, and we're delighted to see the youngsters in the ballpark. Magley delivers 2-0, and, oh, and the fastball is over. 2-1. Tommy Gorman, the plate umpire. Dusty Bodges at first. Kenny Burkhardt at second. Hal Dixon at third. Bodges not feeling well. So they kind of twisted the proper rotation around a bit. Two one is inside, ball three. Three and one. O'Connell now takes a look at Davey Williams to see if there's a sign out. Three balls, one strike. The leadoff man, Danny O'Connell. Three one pitches in there, strike two. Full count to Danny. rubbing at the ball, looks in to get his sign now from Johnny Roseboro. And the three two pitch to Danny O'Connell. Cut on the fly ball into right center and shallow. Frillo and Snyder coming over. It's Frillo for the catch. One up, one away. Don Mueller being announced. Don hitting 263 with six home runs, 36 runs batted in. One out, first inning, no score. Just the start of things. Lucky strike, blowing smoke rings to you and wishing you the very best on this Labor Day weekend. Fastball to Mueller, in for the strike, on one. Don comes out to have a mild discussion about the pitch with plate umpire Tommy Gorman. back with the strike one pitch. A changeup is nubbed up along third. They better let it roll. They do, and it dies fair. Well, it'll be a base hit for Don Mueller. Neither Reese, Roseboro, nor Mangley had a chance. Mueller was actually fooled on the changeup and hit it right off the end of his bat. Squared it up along third, and he beat it out. So Mueller gets an infield single. Little 
Willie Mays, batting 332. He's second to Stan Musial's 340. 28 home runs, 86 runs batted in. Magley checking Mueller, now delivers. Fastball at the foul bike. 0 and 1. One out, first inning, no score. Giants and the Dodgers in the second game of this three game series. They'll close things out tomorrow. Johnny Padres and Ray Cohn. Kurt Barkley has a very tender and somewhat stiff right shoulder. The strike one pitch, curve, cut on and foul back, 0 and 2. Mays had that right off the hands and it hurt a little bit. Really wringing his right hand a moment, now gets back in. Checking signs. Johnny Roseboro we wags him out to him. Strike two pitch. May swings and it's a base hit into left field. Mueller goes to second and holds on. So Willie hits an 0-2 pitch into left for a base hit and the batter Ray Jablonski. Jablonski batting 299, seven home runs, 41 runs batted in. Don Miller second, Willie Mays at first. One out, first inning, no score. Mueller looks to his men, now works the plate and misses inside. Ball one. On deck, Hank Sowers. in a first inning jam. Sal turns on the rubber, now set. The 1 0 pitch. Slow curve into the strike. 1 1. Both the Giants and the Dodgers were talking about Don Drysdale's brilliant performance last night. That's all the Giants were talking about in their dressing room after the game. Shaking their heads and saying he's quite a kid. Magley decides to back off the rubber now, just staring in. One ball, one strike to Ray Jablonski. Magley looks to his runners and delivers 1-1 one, on one, a sharp curve. He's come down and missed. One and two. Nothing's reported all in the American League. All their games are at night. There are two afternoon games in the National League besides this one. One and two pitch. Fastball in there. Call strike three. Oh, Ray Jablonski had to be guessing that time. Magley came right down the middle with the fastball. Two out. Here's Hank Sauer. Hank batting 260. 22 home runs. 64 runs batted in. In the games we played this afternoon, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, friend in Cardwell, the Cardinals and the Cubs, Weimar against either Drott or Elston. These are probably. And Milwaukee at Cincinnati tonight. So we'll have a pretty quiet scoreboard today. Tower waiting. Magley going to let him hang up there. Magley ready and delivers. Curve ball, low and inside. Ball one. One and oh. Not only do we have a 6,000 not all young ladies stay here and they have quite a representation. I don't think we're going to have our over 4,000 ladies that we had a week ago. Oh, nice to have the gals out here with us. Magley delivers one out of Sauer, and the curve is over. One and one. Don 
Don Mueller nubbed one up along third for a base hit. May single to left. Jablonski has struck out. So with two down, the count to Hank Sauer. One ball, one strike. Magley ready, the one one Sharp curve, and there's a fly ball into shallow left. Samoli trotting in. Under it now and takes it for the out, and that does it. The Giants in the first inning, no runs, two hits. They leave two men. At the end of half an inning, the Giants nothing, and the Dodgers coming up. Jim Gilliam batting 253 with a home run and 31 runs batted in. Gilliam, Simoli, and Snyder in the bottom of the first inning, no score. Al Worthington ready to go with a record of eight wins and nine defeats. He is 1-0 and against Brooklyn and lifetime 4-1. and one. Big right-hander. Delivers and wrinkles the first one in for a strike on one. A slider didn't break too much. Jablonski about even with the bag at third. Worthington ready to work and the strike one pitch. Gilliam runs up as if the bottom and takes it low. One ball, one strike. begin the chant now. We want to hit. The 1-1 one, one pitch to Gilliam. A curveball grounded foul outside of first base. One and two. Worthington in checking signs. Al ready now. And the one and two pitch to Gilliam. High. Jumps out of Valmy Thomas's glove. Two and two. Worthington has one complete game in ten starts. It was a beauty. He defeated Philadelphia one to nothing, allowing just three hits. He delivers two two to Gilliam, and that one slips it way high of all three. Worthington kind of looks at his right hand as if it done him wrong. Three and two. Then delivers 3-2 to Gilliam, and the pitch is bounced to the right of O'Connell, who's up with it, turns and flips back to first in time for the out. One up, one away. Nine, Dino Simoli batting 3-0-2. He has 10 home runs, 52 runs batted in. at the plate. Worthington just waiting. Now that is ready and delivers. Simoli jumps away. A fastball at his knees. Ball one. One out. Last of the first inning. Bases empty. No score. Giants and Dodgers. The one all pitch to Gino. Curve cut on and fouled away upstairs. One and one. The Giants will make their final appearance of 1957 here at Ebbets Field tomorrow afternoon. Johnny Padres will be here to try and usher them out. And for the Giants, Ray Cohn. Oh, it should be a good one. Plenty of seats, somewhere like 20,000 seats available, just waiting to be picked up, and we hope you'll spend the time with us. Sidearm curve is inside, ball two, turn one. Back to the plate, and the curveball is high. Ball three. Clean one. Now Spencer comes in from shore and hollers something to Worthington. Now the 3 1 fits to Simoli. Lined in the right center. Mays on the run. The ball slicing away from him and going into the alleyway. Simoli on his way for second and makes a turn. He's cut off by O'Connell. Simoli's going to be hung up. Now goes diving back to second and makes it. Willie 
Mays made a tremendous play in the alleyway. And Samoli made one basic mistake. He took something for granted. He's lucky, however. He got back to second safely. Well, when Samoli saw the ball go by Mays, heading for the alleyway, it must have flashed in Gino's mind, well, I'll take three. Mays grabbed the ball on a bounce with his back to home plate, made an awkward twisting throw back towards Danny O'Connell, but the point was he got rid of the ball. And as Samoli was just running around second base, Danny O'Connell had the ball. O'Connell was slightly uh, bewildered and surprised and threw to third. And Simoli put on the brakes and just did get back to second. And Mays started it off with a fine cutoff in the alleyway. Here's Snyder. Worthington delivers and it's cut on and missed. Well, Gino Simoli doubles into right center. And boy, he almost jumped out of his uniform when he saw O'Connell with the ball. No score, first inning. Snyder hitting 286. Worthington checking Simoli. Checks again, now delivers. And Snyder takes low. One ball, one strike. Duke has 34 home runs, 78 runs batted in. Now the 1-1 one, one search for the Duke. Fastball outside. Ball two. Turn one. Giants, no runs, two hits. Dodgers, no runs on one hit. Samoli has just doubled. Ooh, quite a play by Mays. Rob Samoli of the other base. The 2 1 pitch. Slow curve, fouled away. 2 and 2. Looks in to get a sign from Valmy Thomas. Samoli backing away off second. Dal Spencer right back of him. O'Connell presents no problem. He's in the hole out on the grass. The 2-2 two -two pitch. A little high to Snyder. Ball three. On deck, Gil Hodges. Two pitch to the Duke. Down low, ball four. Well, with one out. Samoli doubles, trying to walk, and it brings up Hodges. Gill batting 304 with 23 home runs, 84 runs batted in. In his last 11 ball games, he's hit six of the distance. On deck, call for a low. Then pounding the ball in the middle of his glove, waiting for Hodges to get dug in up there. One out, first inning, no score. Worthington ready and delivers, and Hodges backs away from a pitch that stays inside. Ball one, one and oh. to Gill. In for the strike. One and one. Simoli away from second. Snyder from first. Brigney a little impatient now. Goes to the water coolers. The one one is Just low. Ball two. Two and one. Rigney's standing up in front of his bench. Now sits back down again, leaning forward. Manager kind of fidgeting a bit here in the first inning.
Worthington delivers two and one to Hodges, and it's cut on and missed. Gill going all the way around. Two and two. One out, first inning, no score. Giants had a mild threat. Couldn't do anything, and the Dodgers trying to do something here in the bottom of the first. Worthington checks his men. Now delivers. And the pitch in there. Call strike three. Oh, Hodges caught looking. Down he goes. Two out. Here's Carl Perillo. Perillo has been blazing hot, so much so that his average is now up to 290. He has 10 home runs, 54 runs batted in. Perillo is one of the really great closing hitters during a year. After the All-Star game, he follows the usual pattern. And in the month of August, he's hit 441. Trillo settles in now. Worthington staring down to get his time. From only a good lead off second, Snyder away from first. Worthington checks and delivers. There's a throw down to second base. Simoli gets back. And the pitch was outside, ball one. Gino taking quite a lead, and the Giants would have none of it, so Spencer cutting back. One ball, no strikes. Gino again comes walking halfway off that bag, and again Spencer ducks in back of him. Worthen and checking him as he dances. The 1 0 pitch to Frillo is lined in the center field for a base hit. Mays charging. Here comes Simoli. The throw to the plate is not in time. Oh, Carl Perillo, who's blazing hot up there at home plate, rips a single to center to get a run over. Snyder stopping at second, and the Dodgers lead one to nothing here in the first inning. Ten home runs, 47 runs batted in. Neil branded Ruben Gomez last night when he hit one in the seat to a three-run home run. Worthington delivers, and Charlie takes on the corner on one. Snyder at second, Perillo at first. Two out, a run over in the first inning, and the Dodgers lead one to nothing. Well, they get back with a strike one curve, and that's fouled away. 0 oh, 2. Two pitch to Charlie Neal, foul back. Count remains. No balls, two strikes. Worth an trying to work his way out of a first inning jam. The strike two puts the Neal, cut on, and helps down to Dow Spencer, juggles, and then steps on the bag, and they get the fourth. In the first inning for Brooklyn, one run on two hits. No errors, they leave two men on. And at the end of one inning of play, Brooklyn won, and the Giants nothing. Dodgers lead one nothing going to the top of the second inning with Daryl Spencer, Whitey Lockman, and Balmy Thomas do up now to face Mike So for more action, here's Ben. Daryl Spencer batting 268, 11 home runs, 47 runs batted in. Spencer, Lockman, and Balmy Thomas. Magley checking sides with Johnny Roseboro, and Sal sends the first pitch in. There's a high drive into left center. Snyder and Simoli converging, both calling, and now Snyder kind of hops up a little bit and takes it right out from in front of Simoli's glove. 
Both men were looking at the ball, and both men were signaling with their hands. You meet a man looking at one another, and for a moment there, it looked like a collision. Then Schneider just reached up and grabbed it. One out. You've got to really sing it out, especially with 6,000 kids out there in left field making a lot of noise. The outfielders had better let one another know what's going on. Whitey Lockman batting 247. Takes the strike. Whitey with seven home runs, 28 runs batted in. Magley back with the strike one pitch. A drag bunt up towards first. It'll be a tough one. And the play to Magley is just in time. Tremendous speed by Hodges. <laughs> If you like basketball, you know what a pick is. You know when they cut off the post and the big man usually feeds off to somebody driving in for a layup? So that's the way that looks. A beautiful bunt by Lockman and a tremendous combination fielding play. Hodges charged it. He didn't have time to scoop the ball. He grabbed it with the bare hand and just flicked it out. Hung it out right over the... Thomas hitting 254 with four home runs, 24 runs batted in. And Magley's serve is lined in the center. Snyder goes in, now has to go back, and it's over his head. He's playing it off the wall, and Thomas on his way with a double. Boy, Snyder really fooled on that ball. He turned every which way. Thomas hit a low line drive that took off. Snyder was so badly fooled on it that he never even leaped up in the air and tied the one-handed. And that, of course, one of his specialties. This one over his head. So with two out, Valmy Thomas doubles, and the batter, Red Worthington. Alan Worthington batting 088. He has three hits, good for three RBIs. Gonna try another helmet up there. Two out, second inning, one nothing Brooklyn. Magna ready and delivers. And the curveball, a half swing, it's over anyway. On one. Strike one pitch to Worthington, down low. One ball, one strike. Neal jumps in back of Valmy Thomas, but Rosebar does not throw. One and one. Magley delivers one one. The curve cut on and missed. One and two. Thomas coming away from second. Two out. Magley delivers. The pitch is cut on and fouled away. And the count remains. One ball, two strikes. Dodgers one. Giants nothing. Two out, second inning. Magley bends at the waist to get his time. Now he straightens up. The one and two pitch to Worthington, and it hits him. Oh, Worthington hit by the pitch. Worthington now wants a light windbreaker brought down to him, so with a one ball, two strike count, pitcher Allen Worthington nicked by the pitch, safely on at first. Valmy Thomas at second, and with two out, Danny O'Connell the batter. Magley had a fastball get away from him. Worthington tried to jackknife and get away from it, and it nicked him. Danny O'Connell flied to right in the first inning, batting 264. Seven home runs, 31 runs batted in. Set 
turns on the rubber now, looks to his base runners, and delivers a fastball that's pulled foul off third base over the roof and out of the ballpark. 0 and 1. Getting the sign from Roseboro. Now delivers on one. O'Connell takes just inside. One ball, one strike. Well, both starting pitches have been in plenty of trouble. Maggie left two men on the base pads in the first inning. He's trying to do the same thing here in the second. And the Dodgers got a run in the first inning. One and one to Danny O'Connell. Magley delivers 1-1. One, one. The curve ball is in there. Strike two. Kind of mad at himself. Picks up a little pebble and throws it away and then gets back in. Magley straightens up. The one and two pitch to O'Connell, the sidearm curve that's popped up. Hodges coming over in foul ground, under it now, and takes it, and that does it. For the Giants in the second inning, no runs, one hit, they leave two, so they've left four men in their two innings of that bat. And at the end of an inning and a half, the Dodgers won, the Giants nothing. Well, see, we batting 226. One home run, 21 runs batted in. Worthington throwing down to Rossi Virgil while Valmy Thomas went out to the mound to get something squared away. Second inning, one nothing Brooklyn. The Dodgers one run on two hits and the Giants no run three hits. Johnny Roseboro and Sal Mangley here in the second inning. Light breeze blowing in from back of left field. Worthington's first pitch outside and low, ball one. Just a light breeze coming out of the northwest, so it won't be too hot. The 1 0 pitch to Pee Wee, in for the strike, one and one. and winds a 1-1 at a peewee. Breaking ball, low and away. Ball two. Two and one. Now the redhead back with his 2-1 pitch and it's promptly belted right up the middle. A clean base hit for Reese. Mays comes on to field the ball and get it back in so peewee opens the second with a single to center. Johnny Roseboro batting 151. He has eight hits, one of them a home run, and four RBIs. <laughs> Worthington up on top to get his time. Now ready, check police and delivers, and Roseboro pulls it foul outside of first. On one. Ball bounces off the box seats, and so Don Mueller has to come in and retrieve in shallow right field. Oh, and one to count. Well, then again checks Reese, now delivers high and away to Roseboro, one and one. He's like sending it all to you from Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. The 1-1 one, one of the Roseboro, a bounce to the right of O'Connell and through for a base hit. Reese is around second on his way to third. 
Mays, in trying to scoop up the ball, drops it. Roseboro, a wide turn. They throw back to first and get him. Roseboro made his wide turn at first when Mays had overrun the ball. And Johnny Spikes gave way, and he fell to his knees. They fired quickly back towards first base in time to get him. The Roseboro gets a base hit, sending Reese to third. There'll be no error charge to Mays. And then Roseboro are making his turn trip, and they get it. So one out, and the batter, Sal Magley. So give Roseboro a single, and he's out, rounding first base, from Mays to Darrell Spencer, back to Whitey Lockman. One out, Reese is third, and the batter, Sal Magley. He has one hit this year, the infield drawn in tight. Worthington winds and delivers, and Magley swings and doesn't get it. On one. The outfield is shallow, Don Mueller in particular in right field. Worthington ready, and the strike one pitch to Magley. They pitch out, no throw to third, but the bluff drives Reese back. One and one. And delivers 1 1. Magley swings and doesn't get it. 1 and 2. On back, Jim Gilliam. The 1 and 2 pitch cut out and missed, and down goes Magley. Second inning, two strikeouts for Allen Worthington and the batter, Jim Gilliam, with Reese at third. Gilliam bounced out on the first inning to Danny O'Connell, he's batting 252. Bill Rigney making signs to Worthington out on the mound. Be ready for the bunt now. Worthington nod. Reese coming down the line off third. Worthington delivers. Junior swings a bouncer backhanded by Lockman. He'll do it himself. Oh, Whitey Lockman takes the run away from Brooklyn. Backhanding Gilliam's bid for a base bid and for the Dodgers in the second inning. No run. Two hits. One man left on. The end of two innings of play. The Dodgers won. The Giants nothing. Don Mueller hitting 266. Overswung on the changeup and beat out a dribble up along the third baseline. So Mueller one for one. Then Mays and Jablonski. Had a few men left on. The Giants have left four in their two innings and the Dodgers three. The first pitch to Mueller just outside. Ball one. One and oh. Back with his 1-0 pitch. Mueller takes fine away ball two. Two and oh. Magley delivers two and oh to Mueller and gets it in there. Two and one. Back to one. The fastball misses. Ball three. Three and one. Now the three one pitch. Outside and high. Ball four. So Don Mueller walks to open up things in the third inning. And here's Willie Mays. Willie single to left field in the first inning, batting 334. Maggie ready, Hodges holding Mueller at first. Sal delivers and May swings and fouls it into the Dodger dugout on one.
Magley working on a new ball. Roseboro blinking signs out to him. Sal delivers 0-1, and May takes a half swing, and it's in there anyway. A fastball that was really sailing coming in there. 0-2. Oh May, his jaw is working away on a piece of chewing gum. Magley ready. Thank you, Fitz to Willie. Curve shot on. Bounce down to third. Reese goes to Gilliam for one, and there's no play at first base. So, fourth play at second, five to four. One out, and the batter, Ray Jablonski. Ray batting 298. Struck out looking in the first inning. Dodgers one, Giants nothing, one out in the third. Magney takes a look at Mays, still checking him. Willie goes, the curve is high, the throw is too high in the center field. Mays is up on his way to third and makes it easily. So Willie steals second and goes to third on Roseboro's arrow. For Willie, his 33rd stolen base. Just like that, one out. And the Giants have the potential tying run at third base. Mays has stolen 33. One ball, no strikes to Ray Jablonski, and the Dodger infield starts to come up. Everyone in sight, with the exception of Neal, who's back off the grass a few steps. Reese now is about even with the bag at third. The right side in tight. The one old pitch. Jabronski swings at a curve and doesn't get it. One and one. And the way Mays has been acting on the base pad this year, you might just as well really keep an eye out on him at first. 33 stolen bases. Magley ready and the one one Curve cut on. A high foul back of the plate. No play. One and two. The Bronski waiting, one ball, two strikes. Magley looks at third. Now the one and two pitch. Jablonski looks, it's in there. Call strike three. So for the second time, Ray is caught looking. Two down in the batter, Hank Towers. Running about Mays in his personal duel with Brooklyn on the base pad, he has tried to steal seven times this year against the Dodgers. He's been successful four and thrown out three. Waiting, Magley winds and delivers, and the curve is cut on and fouled back out of play on one. <laughs> Willie Mays at third base. He got on on a fourth play, stole second, went to third on Roseboro's overthrow, and is acting very impatient down there now as he comes away from the bag. Magley looks over at him, now winds, and the strike one hit. Side on curve, a pie, one and one. Sun really breaking out now and pouring down on us, brightens things up considerably. One and one. Two out, third inning, one nothing Brooklyn. Magley delivers one one. Tower swings and misses. One and two. Big hang let out. Checking Mays. The one and two pitch to Hank Sauer. Cut on and missed strike three. Now Magley with a runner 
third and one out. Strikes out Ray Jablonski and Hank Sowers. Jabbo looking and Sowers swinging. In the third inning, no runs, no hits. There was one error and one man left on. The Giants have now left five in three innings. The end of two and a half innings of play. Brooklyn won, the Giants nothing. Gino Simoli doubled into the alleyway in right center in the first inning, batting 304. It was almost nipped after rounding second as Mays got the ball back to the infield in a great hurry. But O'Connell threw to third and Gino was able to get back. And he's the difference for he eventually came around to score on Perillo's single. one nothing Brooklyn, bottom of the third. Worthington looking over at Whitey Lockman. Lockman pulling at the lacing of his glove, and now we're ready. The first pitch is Simoli. Inside, ball one, one and oh. Brooklyn a run on four hits. The Giants no runs on three hits. The 1 0 pitch to Simoli. Curve, cut on and miss. 1 and 1. Worthington back with the 1 1 pitch. Overhand curve, and that's up high. Ball 2. 2 and 1. to Simoli, cut on and missed, two and two. End of the inning, we'll have a complete rundown of all the scores and pitches involved. You sum up the American League in one word, night. Worthington delivers two and two to Gino Simoli, and it's cut on and fouled back to the wire. Two balls, two strikes. Milwaukee and Cincinnati will be playing tonight, so we'll have no chance to see how the Braves make out during this one. Simoli waiting two and two. On deck, Duke Snyder. Worthington delivers two two, and the fastball is cut on a high pop fly. Danny O'Connell is calling out on the edge of the outfield grass and makes his play. One up, one away. Duke Snyder drew a walk in the first inning. He's batting 286. Worthington ready to go to work and delivers to the Duke, and the pitch is cut on and missed. Snyder taking not a full swing, apparently fooled by the pitch. 0-1. Worthington right back again, and the pitch is grounded to the right of O'Connell and through for the base hit. So Snyder just bounces one into center field for the base hit. Five hits for Brooklyn, and the batter, Gil Hodges. Gil struck out looking in the first inning, hitting 3-0-3. Then looks over at Snyder. Now works the plate, and Hodges takes the strike. On one. One out, bottom of the third inning. Brooklyn one, Giants nothing. Dodgers got the run in the first inning. Doubled by Simoli and Furlow singled him in. Strike one pitch to Hodges. Cut on a high foul back of the play. Valmy Thomas takes a look, but he has no play. 0 oh, and 2. Again, Snyder. Now Worthington ready, and just as he is, Hodges backs out, so time is called. Now we're ready. The strike two pitch, sidearm curve outside, ball one. One and oh. 
Worthington is big enough to give you the impression the first time you see him, well, here's a fellow who's going to wind up and rear back and fire. But most of the time, he throws breaking stuff up there. The one and two pitch stays inside, two and two. to believe that tomorrow will be the last chance to see the Giants over here at Brooklyn. Well, the year is really running out. 2-2 two, two pitch to Hodges, taking high ball three. So, unless you've made some important plans, we have the seats for you. Over 20,000 seats available. We picked up when the gates of the ballpark open up tomorrow. Come on out, see the Giants and Dodgers for the last time this year at Everett Field. Then Monday, the Labor Day doubleheader with the Phillies, and the Dodgers will not be back here until September the 20th. 3-2 pitch, Snyder goes and it's popped up. Dal Spencer is coming over with sunglasses on, now at third base and makes the play. He's calling for it all the way, and Jablonski gave him a lot of room. Two down in the third, Snyder at first base, and Carl for a load of batters. Single to center to drive in a run. His average now at 292. Well, Thrillo's been making a lot of noise during this month of August. Snyder inching off the bag, Lockman holds him, and the pitch to Thrillo curves nubbed halfway to the mound. Worthington feels it, turns and throws him out. So Frillo taps out one to three, and for the Dodgers in the third inning, no runs, one hit, a man left on, they've left four. At the end of three innings of play, the Dodgers are run on five hits and one error with four left, and for the Giants, no runs on three hits and no errors, they have left five. Thanks, man, and here we go now on the fourth. Spencer flied the center his first time at bat, hitting 267. The Dodgers run in the first inning, a double by Simone, and a single by Frillo to get him home. Game two of the series, the finale tomorrow. Magley now looks down for a sign from catcher Johnny Roseboro as Spencer leans in. The windup, and here's the pitch. Curveball is down low, and it's ball one. Whitey Lockman on deck, and Balmy Thomas down in the hole. Magley delivers. Low again with a breaking ball, and it's 2 nothing count on Daryl Spencer. 2-0 count. Spencer walks out a minute, now goes back in. As a close stance, front foot pointing toward first. Right foot pulled way back. Six. Curveball for a strike call at the knees, and it's 2-1 and one now on Daryl Spencer. Brooklyn 1, New York nothing, top of the fourth inning. Magley delivers. Round ball hit to the right side. Right at Gilliam up with it. Makes his play in time for the out. One away. So Spencer grounds out to start the fourth inning. And here's Whitey Lockman. Whitey hitting 246. Grounded out on a fine play on a bunch try. Hodges fed Magley on a great play to get Lockman his first time up. Lockman at bat. Thomas on deck. One away in the fourth inning. Whitey batters the left side. Seven home runs and 28 runs batted in. Magley's fastball stays outside. It's ball one. One nothing chance to Lockman. Magley ready. Here's the pitch. Curve is in at the knees for a strike and the count is 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike on Lockman. One out. Top of the fourth inning, New York batting. Magley delivers again. Fly ball hits the right field deep. That goes Frollo back, back near the boards, and this one is off the scoreboard. Here's the throw to second base. Not in time. Lockman slides in with a double. Whitey Lockman with a high fly ball halfway up the scoreboard in right field. Before Valmy Thomas comes on, we'll pause for application identification. This is the Brooklyn Dodgers Radio Network. 
Dial 1460 WOKO, your Brooklyn Dodger station in Albany, New York. It's 3 o'clock WOKO time. Those records. Crowley Thomas at bat. He had a double his first time up on a liner hit over Snyder's. On second is Lockton. Magley out of a stretch. Change up curve. Flips and comes high. And it's ball one. The double for Lockton is hit number four off Magley. The Dodgers have picked up five this off Worthington. Brooklyn leads one nothing. Top of the fourth. Lockton moving off second base. Gilliam shading the bag just a bit with the right-hand batter up there. Neal playing deep in the hole at shortstop, and Reese back at normal depth of third. The pitch. Curveball is blown outside. Ball two. Two-nothing counts to Valmy Thomas. He's hitting at 258, has four home runs, and 44 runs batted in. Val Magley for the Dodgers. Checks the sign now. Here's the pitch. Fly ball to left field. Tamoli going over the corner near the line. He's there. He's got it. And there are two out. As Thomas skies to Tamoli in the left field corner. Coming on now will be the pitcher for New York, Red Worthington. Red was hit by a fifth ball his first time up. He has three hits on the year and 34 at back. On second, Whitey Lockman, two outs. Top of the fourth inning. The Dodgers lead New York one to nothing. out of a stretch now, pitching to Worthington. Curves him man at the strike. Worthington went through with a swing, tried to hold up, but he'd gone too far. On one on Worthington. Magley checking signs with catcher Johnny Roosevelt. Lockman, a good lead off second. Here's the pitch. Curveball, top back to the mound. Easy play for Magley. Throw is in. Giants in the fourth inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one more left on. The Giants now have left six men on in four turns at bat. So at the end of three and a half innings of play, the score in the ball game, the Dodgers won, and the Giants nothing. All right, Deal was on on a force play his first time up. Reese to follow, Roseboro after that. Worthington was a little slow coming out. He was the last bat in the inning, so went to the dugout before coming to the mound. The Giants defensively have Jablonski at third, Spencer at short, O'Connell at second, and Lachlan at first. Sauer, Mays, and Mueller in the outfield. Worthington pitching and Thomas doing the catching. Tomorrow, the final game of the series between the Dodgers and the Giants. They'll play their last series of the year next week at the Polo Grounds, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A big Monday doubleheader Labor Day here at Ebbets Field with the Philadelphia Phils in town. And then Tuesday night... The Dodgers play the Phils in their farewell appearance at Jersey City for the year. Wednesday and Thursday at Philadelphia with a game on Thursday sent back to you on Channel 9 TV, 7.55. All right, set to play, last of the fourth, Charlie Neal steps in and wasn't too much down for time. Here's the windup and trick. Curve ball is inside off the hips and it's ball one. Neal hitting at 267 has 99 hits. Ten home runs, 47 runs batted in. Curve is down low, ball two. Two nothing count to Neal. The Dodger run came in the first inning. They had a spread in the second and another in the third. The Giants have had runners on in each inning, but haven't been able to score. Here's a foul ball chopped down at the plate, and it's two and one now to Neal. Last of the fourth inning, Brooklyn won. New York, nothing. The windup in the 2 1 pitch. Fly ball, well hit the right field. This one is off the scoreboard. Neal around, takes the second now as the ball comes straight down. Mueller's throw and not in time, cut off by O'Connell. And hit number 100 for Charlie Neal is a double off the scoreboard in right field. Hit number six for Brooklyn. Don Mueller turned and waited for the ball to come off the scoreboard, but it did not bounce off. It came straight down, and so Don had to go to the edge of the fence 
and make his play. Neal with an easy double to right field. And now before Reese steps in, Balmy Thomas goes out to start to Worthington. So we have a confab at the mound. Score one nothing. The Dodgers now with a threat here in the fourth inning. Reese at bat. Roseboro to follow. See, we single the center his first time up. Hitting 229. Charlie Neal down off second. Worthington out of the stretch. Now the pitch. Fastball outside. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Worthington checks his runner, gets his sign now. He's in there waiting for the Dodgers. The check for Worthington, the pitch to the place. Ground ball, cut back to the middle of the center field. Face it. Here's Neal around third, and he'll score as the throw comes to second from Mays, and the Dodgers lead two to nothing. with his second hit that's on the Dodgers' second run. Neal scoring it. And it'll be Johnny Roseboro coming on now. The Dodger leads two to nothing here in the last half of the fourth inning. Roseboro singled the center his first time and then was uh, cut off trying to get back into first. He rounded too far and made through the second base and punches really the lock and got him. Full turn activity now for the Giants, the left-hander and the right-hander. Constable will be the left-hander. Nope. McCormick. All right. McCormick. And Stu Miller. Strike one count on Roseboro. Worthington ready again. Here's the pitch. Outside with a curve and it's ball one strike one now to Johnny Roseboro. The Dodgers two runs on seven hits. New York no runs on four hits. Worthington delivers. Fouled away. And it's one and two now to Roseboro. Lucky strike. A light smoke sending you play by play. The Dodgers and the Giants game two of the series. One and two, Roseboro waiting. Three judges off first. Worthington now set. Close to first base, not in time. One and two. Here's the pitch. Fouled away, bouncing into the box seat on the right side. And a one hand grab by one of the customers down there. Camp. Reese again off first. Roseboro waiting. Takes it high outside for ball, and the count evens at 2 2. Turn two. Nobody out. One run in. Neal doubled off the scoreboard, and Reese singled him home. Roseboro now trying to keep the momentum going for the Dodgers. Turn two. Boiling's in set. Here's the six. Rolled out in front of the plate, Thomas out, up with it, goes to first base, in time there, and Reese is into second. Thomas looks like he had a notion to go to second, then changed his mind and went to first base to get Roseboro, and Reese advances on the ground out. It was not a bunt. Taps out in front of the plate. So Roseboro grounds out, Reese goes to second, and the batter will be Sal Magley. Stops at the on deck circle to get his bat from Jim Gilliam. Foul struck out his first time, and he has one hit this year and 28 at bat. Reese on second, one out, one run in. The Dodgers lead 2 0 last of the fourth inning. Worthington checks the sign. Here's the pitch. Pop fly on the right side. Danny O'Connell and Whitey Lockman, and Lockman makes the call and takes it for the out. So Magley on a pop-up to first base. 
throw away now with Jim Gilliam coming on. Junior hitting 252. Junior has grounded out twice, once to second, once to first. Now Worthington checks his turn, resurges off second. Here's the pitch. Gilliam takes a breaking ball inside too low, and it's ball one. One nothing on Junior. On deck, Gino Simoli, then to follow is Duke Snyder. Two outs, one on, one run in. Now the look. Here's the pitch. Low with a fastball and the count, two nothing. Two ball, no strike count on Gilliam. Reese edging off second. Spencer trying to keep him close. Curve on the outside corner, taken for a strike, and it's two and one now to Junior. Two balls, one strike. Reese is second. Worthington ready. Here's the pitch. Top fly on the left side. Jablonski chasing it in foul territory. Now he's there. He's got it. And the side retired as Gilliam fouls off to Jablonski down the third baseline. So the Dodgers out in the fourth inning with one run, two hits, no errors, and one man left on. So at the end of four innings to play, the score, the Dodgers two, the Giants nothing. Next delivery is inside around the knees, ball two. Two nothing count to Danny O'Connell. He has fouled out and flat out. 0 for 2 today, hitting 263. Nigel ready into the wind up, and down comes the pitch. Curve is right in there for a strike, and it's turn one. Two balls, one strike on O'Connell. Mueller on deck and Mays to follow. The Dodgers lead 2 nothing on seven hits. New York no runs on four hits. Curveball, strike two, called on Danny O'Connell. Magley working the ball low to O'Connell. Got that one in there just above the knees. Two-two to count. Dow rubs up the ball. Dodger defense playing O'Connell straight away. Dow ready to wind up and pitch. Outside the ball. Three and two now to O'Connell. to Magley ready. The wind up and down it comes. Fly ball to center field. Snyder goes back, back, back. Way back now and he's got it. This Snyder trying one of the dead runs. Straight away, deep center field and hauled it down. So it's one away now with Don Mueller coming to bat. Don has one hit and one official at bat. He has singled and walked. Curveball outside, ball one to Mueller. Willie Mays on deck. Maggie ready delivers. Last ball just misses the outside corner, ball two. Two nothing count to Don Mueller, left hand hitter for the Giants at 266. The wind up and six. Round ball to the right side. One-handed by Hodges near the line. Feeds Magley in time for the out. Throw away. Here's Willie Mays coming on. And Alan Roth is Smith with an interesting fact for you. Beginning today's game, the Dodgers pitchers had allowed no runs in the last 18 innings. You recall the overtime game on Thursday night against uh, Chicago. The last nine by Robux, no runs, and they shut up by Drysdale last night. Magley offers me a real group of pitch, and Willie was tempted, but he didn't go after it. Now Willie walks around and kind of looks back at Dallas. 
What are you tying up there, Sal? He really pulled the string on that one. <laughs> Willie didn't know whether to jump on that one or not, but it was low, so he let it go by. Ball one count to Mays. He has a single and on a fourth play. The pitch. Fastball is outside. Ball two. So as of right now, the Dodgers swing by the pitching staff is 22 scoreless innings. May swings on a curve and doesn't get it. Two and one. Willie had a big cut that time. Two balls, one strike. Two outs, top half of the fifth inning. The Dodgers lead the Giants two to nothing. Dow checks the sign with Roseboro. Here's the pick. Top foul off on the right side. Toward the dugout, it'll be out of play in the stands. Right behind the Dodger dugout. Willie Mays waiting. Now Wayne, here's the pick. High fly ball down the left field line, curling off foul. Now it'll be down in the stands and out of play. Samoli and Neil were giving that one a try. 2-2 to Mays. The amazing Willie Mays hitting 333. Inside off the letters, ball three. A full count now to Willie. Three and two. Magny ready with the payoff six. Down it comes. High foul over the top to the left side. So the count holds on Mays at three and two. In again, Magley checks his sign. The lineup and again the three-two pitch. Hey says it right to the hole, the left field. To Mays, it's the three-two pitch. Hot liner right between Reese and Neal, the left field. Off Magley, hit number five, and for Mays, his second of the day. Coming on now is Ray Jablonski, and Jabo has struck out twice, caught looking both times. Jablonski hitting 297. Now eyes Mays. Luck going, and the pitch to the plate is inside. Ball one. The last time Willie was on, he stole second when Roseboro threw the ball to center. Mays wound up at third base. Jablonski waiting. A ball one count. Two outs. Mays on with a single. Magley checks the runner. And now makes the throw over there, and Mays gets back easily. One ball, no strikes on Jablonski. Foul ready again. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, foul, just past third. And a 1-1 count now to Jablonski. Base Willie Mays. Dodgers leading the ball game two to nothing. He's playing in the fifth. There's a foul ball in it back to the right and out of play. One and two to Jablonski. One 
One and two. Mays a short lead off first. Maggie with a stretch. Here's the pitch. Foul ball on the ground, back of the plate. So to Jablonski, the count holds. One ball, two strikes, there are two outs. One, two, six. A little high for ball two, and the count evens now. Two, two on Jablonski. The Dodgers got one run in the first and one in the fourth. Lead two to nothing, playing in the top of the fifth inning. Two, two. Magley checks me. There he goes. The pitch is swung on a high fly ball. Deep left field. Simone going back, back, and it's in there for a home run for Jablonski to tie the ball game. gets the ball game all even now with his eighth home run of the year. Drives in Mays ahead of him. And here's Hank Stauer. He has struck out and fly to left. So has got a brand new game now with two outs. Mays singled and Jablonski hit a home run. Magley now pitching to Stauer. Ground ball. One hop to Hodges who was way wide of the bag playing the right side by himself and Hodges wins the race by retired. Hodges on that play was sorry at that had Gilliam playing directly behind second base, so Hodges had the entire right side, and he made the play. So on the fifth inning for New York, two runs, two hits, no errors, and none left on. And at the end of four and a half innings of play, it's a brand new ball game. The Giants two, the Dodgers two. All right, Gino at that doubled his first time and scored the first one in the first inning, popped out in the third. Worthington now set to come to Somali with a win. Time called as a rubber ball is bounced on the field from the upper deck. Simone hitting 303 has 10 home runs and 52 runs batted in. Worthington into the windup, and here's his set. Curve is way outside, ball one. All tied up, 2 2 as Jablonski hit a home run with Mays aboard in the fifth inning to get her all even. Simone at bat, Snyder on deck. Curve is again outside, ball two to Gino. Then up and count. The lineup in the pitch. Inside bounces off Thomas' glove. And it's ball three now to Samoli. Count. From only a bat, Snyder on deck. Here's ball four inside, and Gino is on with a walk. That's the second free pass given up by Worthington. Up now, Duke Snyder. Duke is walked in finger, hitting 288. Moves to the right to play Snyder. Jablonski in at third, even with the grass, playing against the left hand batter. Giant infield otherwise, double play depth. Worthington ready, here's the pitch. Duke swings and misses. Strike one. Went for a big curveball. McCormick and Miller in the bullpen again for the Giants down in left field. Count to Snyder. Worthington delivers. Duke swings and chops a foul off to the right of the plate. Strike two. Snyder has 78 runs batted in and 34 homers. On two count to Snyder. Samoli on first base. Score tied 2 2, bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. 
In the dirt, gets by his army Thomas, and down to second goes Samoli, makes a turn there, and holds up. The pitch is in the dirt and went right through the legs of catcher Valmy Thomas. And it's a wild pitch against Worthington. The count to Snyder, a ball and two strikes. One and two to do. Smoley off second now. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Breaking ball and Snyder goes down on strike. So Worthington is third strike out of the game. Coming on now is Gil Hodges who struck out and popped out. Gil hitting 302. Samoli on second. Walsh moved down on a wild pitch. One out. Snyder out on strike. Hodges waiting now. With Cirillo on deck. Worthington ready. Here's the pitch to Gill. High and uh, Thomas lost the throw to second base and holds up as Samoli beats it back in there. Ball one counts to Hodges. For the Giants, a right-hander, Sue Miller, a left-hander, Mike McCormick in the bullpen down in left field. One all count to Snyder Lake. Smalley again with a good lead off second. And Spencer sneaking in behind him. Pitch to the plate. Top foul at back upstairs. So the Hodges a count of one ball, one strike. strikes now on Hodges. Last of the fifth inning, score tied 2-2. Dodgers took a two-run lead. And then Ray Jablonski at a homer with Mays aboard in the fifth inning to tie it up. Griffin got one in the first and one in the fourth. Jamali on second. Worthington ready now. Check. Here's the pitch. Half swing. Check up in time. And it's ball two. Two two now on Hodges. Both clubs have had base runners in every inning. Two two count. Two two score. One out. Samoli off second. Worthington ready. Here's the pitch. Bouncer foul to the left of the plate. John says, Worthington gets a new ball to work with. Here's the pitch. Inside off the hips, and it's ball three. A full count now to Hodges, three and two. Same club tomorrow at two o'clock, the finale of the series here at Ebbets Field. Three and two to Hodges. One out, one on, last of the fifth inning. Now Worthington ready again. 3-2 fish on the way. Gill swings and fouls it back. Grand two to Hodges. Stretch the look, and here's the pitch. Gill swings a long drive to left field, pulling foul, and in the upper deck. Hodges 
Dave McCrell with that one. A long drive. Deep to left field, but up foul. Gillis had six home runs in his last 11 ball games and has 23 on the year. He leads the club and runs Saturday with 84. Swung in a long drive to left field. This one is going, going, gone. Home run for Hodges. Is number 24 and seven home runs in his last 12 ball games. Dodgers lead four to two. Carl Ferrillo do up now. The Dodgers out in front using the home run by Hodges was familiar aboard. Then run with a single in the first inning and then grounded out, pitcher to first in the third. Worthington now into the windup to pitch to Ferrillo. Curveball is outside, ball one. Kyle is hitting 291 and starting today's game was hitting 441 in the month of August. Here's the pitch. Swung on a missed first strike. The count is 1-1. Takes a curve outside, ball two, and it's two and one now. The two RBIs for Hodges now runs his total to 86. Gill trying to hit the 100 mark and runs that it in. The pitch is in for strike two. For a little swing with it, and it's in there. Two, two count. run by Gill was his 10th during the month of August, and his lifetime number, 295. That's a lot of minutes. 2-2, the wind-up and pitch to Perillo. Low it away, ball three. So a full count to Carl. We have one out, none on, two runs in. The Dodgers lead 4-2 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. called on Carl. A curveball caught the inside corner knee high. Ball one can strike out number four. And before Neil comes on, he'll pause for station identification. This is the Brooklyn Dodgers Radio Network. Peter. Dial 1460 WOKO, your Brooklyn Dodgers station in Albany, New York. It's 335 WOKO time. Pitch to Neal is curve outside low ball, ball one. Al Worthington for New York. Working on Neal here in the fifth. Charlie ducks away from the ball and it pops off his bat and goes into the stand foul. So a count of 1 1. Neal has a double in two turns, has scored one run. Batting average 270. Takes the pitch high inside, ball two. 2 1 now on Neal. Two out, two runs in. Dodgers lead four to two, bottom of the fifth. Swing and a foul down the right side in the upper deck. Count even to Charlie, two two. Well, hope you're getting a good start on the big Labor Day weekend. Hope you got a good supply of cheese or beer on hand too. Here's a curve inside, ball three. A full count to me. He'll three and two. Here's the pitch. 
Neal swings and misses strike three. Worthington strikes out the side in the fifth inning, but uh, there was a walk and a home run for two runs for the Dodgers. So the totals in the last half of the fifth inning, Brooklyn two runs, one hit, no errors, and no hits on. At the end of five innings of play, the score, the Dodgers four, the Giants two. Now to the tough half of inning number six. Spencer, Luckman, and Thomas coming up in that order for the Giants. 4-2 Brooklyn. All right, Gary. All right, Spencer has gone over two today. Magley delivers first pitch. Swing on a drive down the left field line. Foul. So Darrell Spencer lines one foul down to the giant bullpen, and it's strike one. The Dodgers got a run in the first, a run in the fourth. The Giants tied it with two in the fifth inning on a home run by Jablonski with Mays aboard. And then Hodges it, one with Simoli on to give the Dodgers the lead, four to two. That came in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth inning. Darrell Spencer leading it off. Magley into the lineup, and here's his pitch. A little low on the outside, and it's ball one. Count evens, one one on Darrell Spencer. Magley ready, delivers. Curveball low, and it's ball two. Two and one now. Two one count on Spencer. Magley checking the sign from catcher Johnny Roseboro. Delivers. A little popper at first base. Hodges comes over to make the grab for the out. Spencer tried to check his swing. The ball hit the bat and was a hook back lander to first. So it's one away. Spencer looping out the first baseman, Gil Hodges. Here's Whitey Lockman coming on now. Whitey has one for two today. He doubled the right field. One away, top of the sixth inning. Magley into the windup, delivers. Outside, ball one. Eddie Roebuck and Sandy Koufax now get up and start throwing in the Dodger bullpen down in right field. Fastball on the corner for a strike, and the count to Lachlan, one and one. The giant bullpen is busy now with two right-handers, Miller and Griffin. Ball two to Lachlan, and the count two and one. Magnus checking the sign. One out, none on, on, top of the sixth inning. Magnus fastball is down low, and it's ball three. Three and one now on Whitey Lockman. Three, one, six. On the inside corner for a strike, and it's three and two now, full team for Lockman. Three, two, six. Bounder hit back over the mound, and Neil can't quite get it. Goes into center field for a base hit. Charlie gave it a try near the bag at second base, but it bounced on by him, and Lockman is on with hit number seven for the Giants. That's for Lachlan, his second of the day, and up now will be Balmy Thomas as a double and a flyout. The Dodgers lead four to two. Thomas at bat, one out, one on, six innings. Magley now checks his runner, delivers. Round ball to third and bounces off reach his knee. Two stays with it, throws the second, throws the ball in the right field. Locks him up now, gets the third, and he goes in easily. And Peewee is on one knee out on the infield, and we'll see if he was hurt on the ball. Mars Jones to third, caught Peewee on the left knee. He's walking around now, and out goes Doc Wendell to see about it. The ball bounced up and hit Peewee right on the left knee, and he's now pulling down his left sock and having a look at it. He recovered, stayed with the ball, and then threw to the second base, but got a bad throw by Gilliam in the right field, and Lachman, who has slid in the second base, 
got up and jogged into third. So the Giants have runners at first and third, and time called as umpire Doc Windler is out having a look at Reed. And Tooley is going to be charged with two errors on the play. And on top of that, he got a sore knee out of it. He's up now walking around. And he's going to stay in there. Manager Roll Austin also out to see about it. So Thomas is on at first base on the first error by Pee Wee. Lawson goes to second on it, and then Lawson goes to third when Reese made a bad throw for the second error. So the Giants have runners at first and third, and Gail Harris coming out now to bat for Alan Worthington. So Gail Harris, left hand batting infielder, first baseman, will pinch it here in the sixth inning for Alan Worthington. Worthington works five innings, allowed four runs, eight hits, he struck out five and walked two. Harris hitting at 233, left hand hitter. So the Giants have runners now at first and third. The Dodger infield plays double played up against left-hand batter Gail Harris. Six, outside, ball one. On deck hitter is Danny O'Connell. Griffin and Miller in the giant bullpen in left field will have a new pitcher in the last of the first. Magley delivers and it's in for a strike to have. One and one. One one count. Harris waiting. Lockman the third. Thomas the first to pitch. High pop foul coming back out of play. A ball and two strike count now on the pinch hitter, Gail Harris. Checks the runners again. Here's the pitch. Fly ball to center field. Well tagged. Over for it goes Snyder and makes the grab. Lockman tags the third and comes in to score easily. Holding at first base is Valmy Thomas. Sacrifice fly for pinch better Gail Harris, and it's a four to three ball game. The Dodger lead cut in half. scored by Lockman is unearned. Here's Danny O'Connell at bat now with two outs, one on in the four to three ball game. Brooklyn leads top of the sixth inning. Balmy Thomas on at first. Magley out of a stretch to pitch to O'Connell. Curveball is inside. Ball one. Again delivers. Inside off the shoulders and it's ball two to O'Connell. Roebuck and Kofax still in the bullpen for the Dodgers working along. Magna ready, here's the pitch. Curve in for a strike and it's turn one to O'Connell. Danny hitting 263. He's gone 0 for 3 today. Flat out twice, fouled out once. 2 1 count. Here's the pitch. Little low and inside, ball 3, and a 3 1 count now in the tunnel. Looking for New York 3, top of the sixth inning. Middle game of a three game series. Marv Griffin has stopped throwing in the bullpen and now is making his way toward the Giants' dugout, so we'll assume Griffin will be the next pitcher for the Giants. 3 1 pitch is inside. He walks him. Off Magley, walk number two, and out comes manager Wall Austin to talk with his pitcher. 
The tying run and the person of Army Thomas moves to second base. O'Connell is first on a walk. And Austin now has to talk to Sal Magley. With Don Mueller coming in, Austin motions to the bullpen to bring on the left-hander, Sandy Kofax. So he'll bring on Kofax, left-hander, to pitch to Don Mueller, left-hand batter. Now we'll keep an eye on the giant bench to see if manager Bill Wiggins is going to counter that move. Mueller was in the on-deck that was being called back to the bench. We'll wait and see. So that will be all for Magley. Sal in the inning has allowed one hit and one walk, and there were two errors on one play by Reese. It got Sal a little bit of trouble. Magley comes off now. He was five and two-thirds innings. Three runs, two runs, and seven hits. He walked two, struck out three. Sandy Koufax coming on at five and three against the league. And he'll take over now. Magley with two outs, two on, one run in, and the score four to three in the top of the sixth inning. Now replacing Magley. Go back in his 28th ball game. He has started 12. Don Mueller comes back to the on deck circle now, so it's probable that Don will bat in his regular turn. Well, while Go is getting uh, tuned up out there, you might. You clear yourself a little time out and go out to the refrigerator and open up a bottle or can of paper. Long about now. All right, Don Mueller at that. Balmy Thomas at second. Danny O'Connell at first. Two outs and the score four to three. Brooklyn leads and Kofax now trying to get out of here by disposing of Mueller. Willie Mays on deck. Here's a look by Kofax in the pitch. Uh, swung on a fly ball to left center field. Snyder going forward and completely over. It drops in for a base hit. Here's one run in. Here's a count around third and he's four. And the Giants lead five to four. As the ball fell between Snyder and Simoli and left center, and they had trouble picking it up, and the throw then came to second base. Team two, Gilliam, and two runs scored, and Mueller is on at first base. And we'll wait for the official scoring on that one. Fly ball in the left center field fell in between Samoli and Strand. It might have been. They both called on the ball and then stopped, although it would have been a tough play for either to catch the ball. But then after the ball dropped, Strand recovered and threw into second base, and O'Connell came right on in to score. And another conference to mound, and that would be all for Sandy Kofax, with right-hander Willie Mays coming on. Eddie Roebuck is being called into fifth. <laughs> on the base hit by Mueller, a single, and he gets two runs batted in. As the throw from the outfield came to second base, O'Connell just kept right on coming and was... And Thomas. So Connell scored from first base on the single. Thomas scored from second. And now Eddie Roebuck being called in. Those runs charged against Magley, and they are on him. Roebuck coming in to pitch the maze with two outs. Mueller at first base. And the Giants leading five to four. Back works the one batter, allows one hit. And Roebuck now called into the pitching. Eddie's record against the league is six and two. As far as the Dodgers are concerned, it's been a rather weird inning. Spencer lined the first, and Lockman singles at the center field. Thomas did a ground ball to third that bounced off Reese's leg. 
And then Peely recovers, threw the ball to right field, and that was charged with two errors on the play. Dale Hayes on a sacrifice fly got a run in. O'Connell walked, and then Mueller hit a fly ball to left center field that fell in for a base hit, and two runs scored from first and second on the single to left. All right, Roebuck pitching to May. Inside low, ball one to Willie. He's had two for three. So the Giants have a three-run inning here in the sixth. Robuck relieving Kofax, who made one pitch to Mueller. Mays backs up from ball two, and it's 2 nothing now. Here's the next pitch to Mays. Inside, around the knees, ball three. 3 nothing on Mays. Face John Miller. There are two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. The Giants have scored three, lead five to four. Mays takes the strike. Three and one. Three and one count. Robuck pitching to Mays. Here's the pitch. Pop fly near the mound on the first base side. Hodges now moves in, calling for it, and he's got it. Bad retired. Mays pops off. So in the top of the sixth inning for the Giants. Three runs on two hits, two Brooklyn errors, and for the Giants, one man left on. So at the end of five and a half innings to play, the score is five, and the Dodgers four. Giants have picked up the lead now. We have Bob Grissom coming on to pick up the ball game for the Giants. Reach up at the plate. Let's get right back to Jerry. All right, it'll be Peely Reese at bat. He's has two for two today and takes the first pitch. High and inside, ball one. Grissom making his 45th appearance in relief has won four and lost three. He's worked 69 and two-thirds innings. Reese takes the strike. A fastball laid in, and it's one and one. In the Dodger bullpen, Carl Erskine working now, indicating the possibility of a pinch hitter for Robot to do up third in the inning. Curveball to Reese is in for a strike, and it's one and two to Pee Wee. Miles Griffin for the Giants, relieving Worthington. Curve is outside. The count evens at 2 2. The three runs the Giants got in the sixth inning were in Grissom's favor. And they're all unearned if you keep his score with us. Grissom ready with a 2 2 pitch. Great three called to be a real fastball in the outside corner. So for Grissom, strikeout number one. Up now will be Johnny Roseboro. He has one hit, two tries. Pitching to the left hand batter. Fastball on the outside corner. Strike one. 5 4. New York leads the Dodgers. Last half of the sixth inning here at Ebbets Field. Game two of the series. Here's the pitch. Outside high for ball. And the count is even 1 1 on Rose. One ball, one strike. the pitch. Well on a miss for strike two. One and two. Goes for a single in the second. Grounded out in the fourth. One ball, two strike count. Grissom into the lineup and here's his pitch. Curve is in and over. Call strike three. Strikeout, and for Grissom, his second. 
Eddie Robuck will come on the back for himself now. So Carl Erskine, who was throwing in the Dodger bullpen, will now stop. Two out there in the sixth inning. Robuck coming on the back. Three hits and 16 turns at bat, including a home run. So Robot comes on now here in the first with two outs, nobody on. Rest him into the lane at the pitch, Eddie. Swung on a drive to left center field and ripped in for a base hit. So Robot gets a two out single over shortstop to left center. For the Dodgers, hit number nine. Both sides threw six innings of that base runners in every turn of bat. And now with two out, one on, Gilliam comes on. Junior is 0 for 3 today, hitting 251. Grissom on first. Goes to the plate and uh, on the first strike. Robot with a short lead. Strike one count to Gilliam. Now Grissom again looks to first, takes his stretch. Junior swings and whistles one right back off his ear to set up here for a base hit. That one right by Grissom in the center and a single for Gilliam. Down to second goes Robot holding there. Now will be Gino Simone. So after the first two minutes struck out, Robuck and Gillian put back-to-back singles together and keep the Dodgers going here in the first. Simone has doubles, popped out and walked the score to a ring. Nine minutes, second, 5-4, Giants lead, bottom of the sixth inning. Hunter checking his sign with catcher Balmy Thomas. And now Samoli steps out. Now he's back in. Robuck at second, Gilliam at first. Here's the look. And the pitch to Gino. Fastball high. Thomas lost the first base, but Gilliam gets back in. No play. Ball one to Samoli. Robuck on second, wearing a light windbreaker with a sleeve pulled up. The pitch is fine inside. Ball two. Gino falls away from it. Two nothing counts. Does Simone keep it alive? It'll be Duke Snyder do next. Two nothing on Simone. This and ready now. Here's the pick. Taken for a strike. And it's the letters, and it's two and one on Gino Simone. The Giants lead five to four. Five runs, eight hits. The Dodgers, four runs and ten hits. On the way, high and inside, and again, Simone goes down. All three and strike one. Three and one count. Simone dusts himself off, back in there now, just a minute to go. Buck at second, getting the first, there are two outs. Three, one, six. Foul away. Back into the line, and it's three and two. Full count. So we'll turn loose now, three and two on Simoli. Right hander Stu Miller working in the giant bullpen in left field. Three 
three and two. The runner's ready. And now Griffin goes off the rubber to move Robot back to second. The sprinter's set in behind him. No play. Three two. Robot again gets the lead. Here they go. Take the swing and a drive. And that's not a field. It's going to be in for a big set. All the way to the wall. One run in. Get him around third. Headed home. Made the throw. is not in time. And it's six five. Griffin. Simone right on the boards and left center field with a double to score. Robuck and Gilliam and the Dodgers lead 6-5 and before Snyder comes on, we'll pause for station identification. This is the Brooklyn Dodgers Radio Network. Dial 1460 WOKO, the Brooklyn Dodgers station in Albany, New York. It's 4.05 WOKO time. And this is going to get an intentional pass for a first base open. That'll be walk number one off Myers Griffin. In the inning, Reason the Roseboro struck out and Robust lined the swing to the left center. Gilliam singled right back to the middle and Simone hit a 3 2 pitch to the wall in left center field to drive home Roebuck and Gilliam and give the Dodgers two runs in the lead. Six to five and a real wild one going here today at Everett Field. Boy, this has been a real ball game. She's gone back and forth. All right, Snatter's walked intentionally. Gil Hodges comes on, hit a home run his last time. Drove in two runs. Simone scored in front of him. So we have Simone on second. Snatter on first. The Dodgers lead six to five. Hodges in there now. Gil hitting 304. Seven home runs in 12 games for Hodges. Listen, ready. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to shortstop. Spencer plays it on two hops to force at second base, and the side is retired. Well, that's all for the Dodgers in the sixth inning. After two outs, they got two runs on three hits. No errors, and had two runners left on. So at the end of six innings to play, the score of Brooklyn six. And New York five. Well, Al, the way it's been going, most anything can. Jablonski will start it off. He had a two-run home in the fifth inning, and he struck out his first two turns. So Ray is one for three, hitting at an even 300. On the mound now, Eddie Roebuck, and the starting pitch is no longer figures. The ball game belongs to Grissom and Roebuck. There's a bounded foul to the left of the plate. Strike one on Jablonski. 6-5, Brooklyn leads. In the last couple of innings, we've had a lot of scoring. Both sides got two in the fifth. The Giants got three in the sixth. The Dodgers got two. Six to Jablonski is inside at the belt. Ball one. One one count. Top of the seventh inning here at Everett Field. The Dodgers and the Giants in the second meeting of the series. One more. That'll be tomorrow at two o'clock. There's a bounder to third. Reese plays it in the short up. Makes his play in time for the out. One away. Jablonski bouncing out to Reed. Now the batter will be Hank Sauer as flat out, struck out, and grounded out. Sauer hitting 257, has 22 home runs, 64 runs batted in. Eddie Roebuck into the windup. The pitch is inside, ball one. count on Big Hank Starr with Daryl Spencer doing that. Robust lines, here it comes. Fouled away on the ground, off to the left side. Count is 1-1 one, one on Starr. One ball, one strike. Robot takes his time, gets his time now. Here's the pitch to Hank Starr. Inside is the bell with a curve, and it's ball two. Turn one. The 
behind it, and down it comes. Foul away on the ground to the left again. And it's a two-two count to foul. Big Hank wearing number six on the back of the gray uniform. Single game tomorrow between the Dodgers and the Giants, and a doubleheader on Monday between the Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Labor Day. 1.30 starts for the doubleheader. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Sarr. Foul away again off the third base side. Several fans came rolling out of the box seats trying to get that ball. Robust checking again. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Third ball, a half swing, held up in time, and it's ball three. Three and two. Roebuck had a long session on Thursday night. He worked nine innings in the overtime game against Chicago. And was the winning pitcher. He's now six and two against the league. The pitch is down low, and Sauer is on with a walk. Go off Roebuck, walk number one for the chance today. They've had three passes. Magley gave up two. Here's Darrell Spencer coming on. He's 0 for 3. Darrell hitting 265. Clem Levine is firing away in the Dodger bullpen in right field. Pitch to Spencer is inside. Pops out of Roseboro's glove, but no advance by Sauer. Ball one count to Spencer. Ready again. Checks first delivers. Spencer takes it low for ball. Count is 2 nothing now. Two balls, no strikes on Spencer. We're playing the top of the seventh inning. The Dodgers six, the Giants five. In and it's turn one now. Carl Eskin joins Levine in the Dodger bullpen. And Levine stops throwing, and Don Duffin will come on and take his place. There's a final foul at the third base side. David Williams knocks it down with his foot. Count is 2 2 on Daryl Spencer. Levine has a sore forearm and has not been throwing too well the last few days, so maybe Clem was just loosening up, and now we have Don Besson and Carl Erskine firing away. Two two counts, Spencer waiting at first base star, one out here in the seventh. The pitch by Roebuck. A roller step back toward the mound. Roebuck's play will go to first base in time there, and Sauer moves on to second. As Spencer rolls out, Roebuck to Hodges. Whitey Lockman coming on, has a double and a single, and scored a run. So Whitey is two for three today, hitting 251. For tomorrow's series finale, it'll be Ray Crone for the Giants and Johnny Padres going for Brooklyn. Roebuck now ready to work to Lockman here in the seventh inning. Here's the pitch. Chop foul rolling off toward the Dodger dugout. Strike one to Lockman. The f and Super Brewing Company of Brooklyn sending you play-by-play. Play. Just a reminder for the long holiday weekend to stock up on Schaefer, either in the courts or the fans. Handy way to keep you safe and have plenty on ice. Pitching to Lockman. Delivers. Foul away. Down the left side. It'll be up in the stand. 0 2 on Whitey Lockman here in the top of the seventh inning. At second base, Hank Sauer. There are two outs. Brooklyn six runs, 11 hits. 
New York, five runs on, eight hits. Sure, the Lockman, left hand batter against right hander Eddie Robuck. Now, Eddie ready again. Check to deliver. A bounder hit wide of third. Big hop to Reese. So the Hodges in time and the side is retired. So for the Giants in the seventh. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. At the end of six and a half innings of play, the score. The Dodgers six. And the Giants, five. Well, now we've had the seventh inning stretch. We move along into the last half of the seventh. for O'Neill and Reese coming up in that order. Six to five to score. Brooklyn leads it. So let's listen to Jerry now and see what's going to happen. All right, Perlo at bat, single drove in a run in the first inning, and is one for three. Swings a bounding ball right to Danny O'Connell. Play goes to Lockman in time, and it's one out here in the seventh inning. Next batter, Charlie Neal. Charlie has one hit doubled in the fourth inning and came in to score on Reed for singles. The Dodgers lead 6 5. They won last night's game on a three hitter by Don Drysdale, 10 0. Final game tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Single game between the Dodgers and the Giants here at Everett Field. Grissom delivers to Neal. Charlie takes it for a strike. Chicago and St. Louis tied at 2 2 at the end of five and a half innings of play. Neal swings on a curve. His bat flies one way, and the ball goes foul down the third baseline. Bad bat boy hitting the hand goes out to retrieve. Back flying off toward first. So to Neal, strike two. LeBron and Jason throwing in the bullpen now for the Dodgers. At the end of seven innings of play, Philadelphia leads Pittsburgh seven to one. Milwaukee plays Cincinnati tonight. There's a swing and a miss, and again Neal loses his bat. This time it flies over to the third base side. And is uh, right under the exit gate, and a fan there pulls the bat under the gate and puts it in his lap. And the bat boy comes over now to retrieve and is now looking to the park policeman for a little help. Neil is out on strike. He swung his bat and rolled all the way to the exit gate. And the fan reached down under that gate and slid the bat under there, and he's going to take it home as a souvenir. I know they take the balls home, but my goodness, the bat, too? Gee whiz. Here's the pitch to leave. High for ball. One ball, no strike. There's some third strike out on Neal, who lost his bat for the second time. And he lost it for good, looks like. Here's a fly ball to center field. Willie Mays coming into the right center, and also there is uh, Don Mueller. Mueller makes the catch, and the side is retired. And that's the first time today that we've had a side out one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors, and none left on. So at the end of seven innings of play, it's Brooklyn six and New York five. His ball game to win it or lose it. Here's out on the mound, and he'll pitch first of all to catcher Valmy Thomas of the New York Giants. And then we'll have the pitcher spot coming up and hop to the top of the batting order. Pick up O'Connor. All set, Jerry. Park policeman coming down to the box seat along the uh, third baseline now to ask the customer there to give the bat back. Of course, when the ball's going to the stands, the fans keep those. They ain't over the rings to get them. This man went into the gate to pull the bat out of there. The bat didn't go into the stands. He pulled it off the playing field. And now two park policemen are asking him to give it up. All right, back to play. Valmy Thomas swings and fouls it off down the third baseline. Strike one. And we'll see who wins the battle of the missing bat now. Tommy Thomas' at bat has doubled, flat out, and was safe on an error by Pee Wee Reed. And the policeman gets the bat. And the policeman also gets around the booze.
Strike one count to Thomas. Eddie Roebuck working here in the eighth inning. The pitch is inside for ball, and the count is 1-1. Bobby Thompson is out in the on-deck circle, and Stu Miller is in the bullpen. Uh, looks like we'll have Thompson batting for Grissom and Miller to pitch the bottom of the eighth. There's a foul ball off to the right to the Dodger both uh, dugout, and it's one and two on Thomas. Robot delivers, and it's a swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Thomas on strike for Eddie Roebuck, strikeout number one. Here's Bobby Thompson now in the bat for Marv Grissom. So Grissom goes out. He works two innings. Allowed two runs and three hits. Struck out three, walked one. And right now the ball game is on Grissom. So Bobby Thompson coming on to bat for him. And Stu Miller in the bullpen for New York. Robot delivers. Thompson takes it low and inside. Ball one. Don Besson throwing alone for the Dodgers in right field. Eddie Robot looking for a sign from Roseboro. Here's the pitch. Thompson swings, bounces one to third. Reese gets a big hop. Makes his play, and it's two away. Final score, Philadelphia beat Pittsburgh 7-1. to Cardwell the winner over Bob Friend. Cardwell also hit a home run in the second with one on. At the end of six and a half, St. Louis and Chicago all tied up at 2-2. Milwaukee plays Cincinnati tonight, and all the American League games will be tonight. Here's Danny O'Connell coming on now. Danny is over for three. Washington can score the run. Starting in the eighth inning. Dodgers six, Giants five. Game two of the series. Robot delivers. Fly ball down the left field line. Going foul. Strike one count. Pitch is outside for ball, and the count is 1-1. Robot ready, pitching to O'Connell. Foul ball, tapped on the ground back of the plate, and the count is one ball, two strikes. The Dodgers got a run in the first, another in the fourth to lead 2 nothing. Jablonski got a home in the fifth inning with one on to tie 2-2. Two -two. The Dodgers got a home run by Hodges in the fifth with one on to make it 4-2. The Giants got three in the sixth. The Dodgers got two and lead 6-5. One and two to O'Connor. Robot delivers. Breaking ball is down low. Ball two. Count even now. 2-2 two -two to Danny O'Connor. Checking signs with Roseboro. Now ready, the 2 2 wind up and down it comes. Bouncer hits wide at first base, hides over the play, feeds Roebuck, in time to the outside retire. So the Giants go out in order for the first time today, three up and three down, no runs, no hits, no errors, and none left on. At the end of the top of the eighth inning of play, the score is Brooklyn six. And New York five. As we go to the last half of the eighth inning, Stu Miller comes on to do the giant pitching. Brooklyn six runs, eleven hits, three errors. New York runs, eight hits, no errors. Johnny Roseboro, the first hitter up in the eighth. You also ready to go. Al Miller against the league is six and eight, making his thirty-first appearance. took the bat a while ago 
He gave up the bat, and then uh, the Dodgers gave him a brand new one. The bat that Charlie Neal had been hitting was, uh, was one of his favorites, so the fan gave up the bat. And now, just a moment ago, that boy, Eddie Lahan, goes over and presents the man with a brand new bat. Roseboro, on the first pitch, fouls it off for a strike. So a fan over there, quite happy, got a new one, instead of Charlie's regular game bat. it off to the left, and the count to Johnny is one and two. Two winners pitching for New York. One and two pitch. High pop fly on the right side. O'Connor second base backing to a call and he's got it. One away as Roseboro pops out. <laughs> Waiting for Eddie Robot to come on. Robot single to start the Dodger rally in the sixth inning with two outs. Eddie got a single in left field. Then Gillian single and Samoli doubled him home. Batting last of the eighth, one out, none on. Two Miller pitching to Eddie Rogan. Bringing a drive to left field, going back toward the foul, and forget it, it's a home run for Robot. become quite a hitter. Lines a home run to the fans in left field, his second hit of the game, but his second home run of the year. So Eddie Roebuck has really been making a home for himself here with the Dodgers. 7-5, Brooklyn leads the pitch to Gilliam, is on the corner for a call strike. Roebuck had an easy swing that time and just powered that ball. Line drives to left for a home run. Pitch to Gilliam is in for strike two. Oh, and two to Junior. One run in, one man out, and nobody on base in the eighth inning. Miller delivers, and Gilliam swings him through the hole with a field for a base hit. For Gilliam, his second hit of the day. The Dodgers, number 13. Up now will be Samoli, who has a pair of doubles in the walk, has driven in two and scored two. Manager Bill Rigney now getting his bullpen busy again. Left-hander McCormick and looks like right-hander Monsant. Samoli at bat, one run in, one man on, and one man out. Dodgers seven, Giants five, last of the Miller pitching to Gino. And he takes the strike. Third ball, let her high. Eddie Roebuck with a home run here in the eighth inning. After igniting a Dodger two-run rally in the sixth inning. Eddie helping himself with that bat as well as with that pitching arm. Play the first base and Gilliam is back. The total crowd today is 23,267. 14,222 paid, 3,045 ladies, and 6,000 not old kids. Next pitch is low for a ball, and the count to Gino is 1-1. Those 23,000 fans looking in there. 1-1 count. 
Miller eyes Gilliam, pitches to the play. Pitch out and no play. Gilliam was not going. Roger Craig now listening up in the Dodger bullpen in right field. Tomorrow it'll be Johnny Padres and Ray Crone. Final game of the series at 2 o'clock. Single game. Two-one counts to Molly Whiting. Gilliam goes. The pitch swung on a miss. The throw to second base is in time and Gilliam is out. Tommy Thomas with a good throw. And Gilliam out stealing. The count to Samoli is 2 2. Gino waiting with a 2 2 count. Nobody on base. One run in the inning. Pitch is low for ball, and the count is three and two. The Dodgers seven, the Giants five, last of the eighth inning. Another winds and fires. Gino swings and misses down on strike. Low curveball. Tied retired. Throwing the eighth for the Dodgers. One run, two hits. No errors, and none left on. So at the end of eight full innings of play, the score is Brooklyn 7 and New York 5. And by Ray Jablonski. Right back to Jerry. Mueller has two hits in a walk today. Mays on Jablonski to follow and Roger Craig in the bullpen. The pitch is low and inside. Ball one to Mueller. Dine is hitting at 268. Dodgers trying to hold a two-run lead here in the ninth inning and get their second in a row over the Giants. Buck into the windup. Here's his pitch. Line foul down the right field stand into the lower stand. And a 1 1 count now on Don Mueller. St. Louis goes tied 2 2 at the end of six and a half innings of play. Milwaukee plays Cincinnati tonight. The windup and Roebuck's 1 1 pitch. Inside, ball two, two and one. Windup, here it is. Ground ball to the right side. In comes Gilliam, makes his play. In time for the out, one away. And as far as Roebuck is concerned, that was a big man because now he gets Willie Mays at bat where there's nobody on base. Mays has two singles, been on on a fourth play and popped out. He's two for four. Willie hitting 333. The field, Snyder coming on fast for it and makes the catch for the out. So Mays out on a fly ball to center, running in the right center field and coming in a bit for it. Still away, and here's Ray Jablonski. Ray has one hit a home run and is running with one on. Batting in the top of the Dodgers lead seven to five. Robert winds and pitches to Jabo, and it's in for a strike. On deck is Hank Sowers. Here's the pitch. Fouled away on the ground. And it's strike two on Jablonski. Eddie Roebuck now stands one strike away from his seventh win of the year. Came on to relieve Koufax, who pitched to one man after relieving Magley in the fifth inning. In the sixth inning. Here's the 0-2 pitch. A little low for the ball, and the count is one and two. Roebuck has a pretty good streak of scoreless innings going now. He pitched nine against Chicago on Thursday night. Two here today. Strike two. A swing and a miss from the ball game of over. As Jablonski goes down swinging. Eddie Robot strikes him out. Gets the Giants out in order in the ninth inning. 
In the ninth for New York, three up, three down, nothing across, and the final score, the Dodgers seven and the Giants five. And now with the final facts and figures, here's Al. For the Brooklyn Dodger win here this afternoon, Brooklyn seven runs. They had 13 base hits. There were three errors. They left seven men off. Eddie Robot, the winner. Magley started it, went five and two-thirds. Kofax showed very briefly, pitching one man. Then Robot took over. And from there on, well, we're sort of in the hip pocket. Robot seven and two now for the year. Seven wins and two losses. For the New York Giants, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left eight men on here. And their second pitcher, Grissom, who came on in relief of Worthington after Worthington had gone five. Grissom pitched two and Miller finished up. It was Grissom to take the loss. His record is now four wins. This was his fourth pitch in 1957. So it means that the Brooklyn Dodgers now have taken two of the three-day three-game series from the Vistie New York Giants. 